welcome to pouches and more and today we'll prepare this simple tote it's got a pocket in front we have used a thick lace as well as thin lace for the straps inside it's got a main pocket and also two pockets in which we can keep our specs as well as another phone it's got ample space inside it's spacious it's completely lined so this is how it be looking let's check out the materials required to make this tote bag we require one piece of main fabric two pieces of feasible interfacing and two pieces of lining all of them measure 16 inches by 14 inches we require two pieces of main fabric and this measure 16 inches by 4 inches one piece of main fabric 16 inches by 7 inches a lining fabric measuring 10 inches by 14 inches main fabric measuring 6 inches by 8 inches a lining fabric measuring 7 inches by 6 inches main fabric 4 pieces this is for the strap so these are the 3 pieces plus 1 piece and this measures 26 inches by 1 and 3 fourth inches we have got a thick lace this measures 8 inches by 4 inches and 4 thin laces measuring this is 26 inch long this is optional so these are all the materials required so first we'll take the main fabric the broader one and around one and a half inches from above we'll place the thick lace and we are going to make a stitch so these are the outer pockets we are going to put the right sides together like this align the top part only one part so right sides are together and we are going to make a straight stitch on one side So we have finished stitching only one side the right sides are together now for the other side we are just going to align both of them so both the raw edges we are going to align it like this the base and we are going to make a stitch over here so we have taken the main fabric an inch longer than the lining fabric so from the side we will be looking like this and we are going to make a straight stitch So our main fabric lace is done and our pocket is done, outer pocket. Now lace the extra part will cut and the pocket we are going to turn it to the right side. So once we turn it to the right side, one end we will fold it like this. One end we are going to get them together, align them and then press. The other end we will be having the main fabric longer, that will be the top part. So one end it is aligned together and the other end we are going to make a top stitch over here so we have cut the lace and we have made a top stitch it's a simple straight stitch now around three and a half inches from the base so we'll place the pocket like this and it will be around three and a half inches from the base we are going to place it and we are going to stitch this this is on the outer side so we're just going to stitch this Now for completing the top part, we have stitched the pocket, the right sides together we are going to put it like this, the narrower fabric that is 4 inches fabric, they will be the side fabrics. So we will do the same for the other side, put the right side down, right sides together, clip them. So this is how it will be, the right sides will be to together we need to make a stitch on both these sides now the stitch is done we will make a top stitch for that the seams will be pushing it outside on the outer side and make a top stitch over here so that will keep it flat so our pocket will be ready and the up outer fabric will be ready
So our front part is ready. Now we'll get the fusible interfacing and we are going to fuse the front side as well as the back side. So we have fused both the fabrics that is the front and the back fabric. It's ready. We're just going to keep it aside. Now we'll prepare the straps. So we'll take the strap and we'll take the lace, thin lace and we place it like this. So the raw edges will be together. We'll do the same. We'll take another lace and align the raw edges. So we'll make a stitch on this. We'll do the same thing for another strap also, another fabric. So we'll be doing the same thing that is put two laces. The remaining two laces will align it on the sides like this. And we're going to make a stitch on all four. So one side of this strap is ready just to one part is ready. Now for completing this, we will put the right side of the other strap also like this. Align the sides, clip the entire thing and we will make a stitch on this side. We will do the same for the other strap also. So we are going to place the right sides together and clip one side only, the long side. So we need to make a stitch on this. Both these sides we are going to make a stitch. Now one side is done. We'll flatten this like this pull the lace neatly out so this is how it will be looking so we are going to clip it like this there are various ways in which the strap can be prepared it can also be prepared by stitching both the sides like this and turning the entire thing inside out I wasn't comfortable doing that so I am doing it in this method So this is how one side will be looking. We will do the same for the other strap also and we are going to make a stitch on this. So here we are going to make a stitch. finished one side now for the other side we are going to push the back fabric out so only the part that the lace is stitched we are going to turn it like this we are going to turn the lace again to the side that we want out and we are going to make a stitch on this we will do the same for the other side also so the other fabric base fabric will be out and only on this fabric we will be making a stitch Now that is done. Now for completing this, what we are going to do is, one side is done, we will just take the other back fabric and fold it according to the lace. So only the edge of the lace will be seen and it will look neat. This is the method that I am using. There are other methods also. I wasn't comfortable in the inside out method. So I am 
doing it in this method so i've stitched the lace one side and i'm just folding the other fabric like this so this also gives a neat finished look we are going to do that for the entire strap as well as the other strap Here we are going to make a stitch and we'll do that for the other side also. So our straps are complete and this is how it will be looking now we will take the front fabric right side facing up and we place the straps it's not necessary to make a center marking but I will be making a center marking just to see whether it's aligned properly so we are going to place the straps where the stitch is where the side fabric is joining so we are going to place the strap like this it will be on the center fabric only that is the broader one and we are just going to clip this see that it is properly flat it's not turned and again the stitch mark is here on the inside inner side we are going to place this and clip it so this is the front fabric this is how the strap will be looking now for the back fabric we are just going to place it like this align it along with the front fabric align it and make a mark on both this so these are the marks now we are going to place the straps on the so this is the mark over here and we are placing the strap over here so we will do that for the other side see that the strap is absolutely flat I will make a stitch on these four now for the inside pocket we are just going to fold it li like this right sides together make stitches on three sides we will have to keep this open this is for turning it right side out and make a stitch Now this pocket corners we are going to cut it off and we'll turn it to the right side. We'll turn this pocket to the right side. So this is how it will be. One side there is an opening. Now we need to make a, this is the opening, on the opposite side we need to make a stitch. So we have stitched, now we need a center marking, for that we are just going to fold it like this, hand press it, this is our center. We will take the lining fabric also and we need a center marking, so again just going to fold it like this and hand press it. So that we get a center marking. Now once the center marking is done, around four and a half inches from above. First we'll place it on the center line. This is the center line, it is aligned properly. Now we'll just see that it is around four and a half inches below. We're just going to place it four and a half inches. Both sides will just check. And again we will align the center mark. So we need to make a stitch on three sides. 
so here three sides will be making a stitch this is the open part so this will also be stitched now we'll also make a divided pocket so we'll take three and a half three to three and a half and we're going to make a marking this is also completely optional it depends you can make it half and half also or you can make a pocket one narrower and another broader we're so just going to make a straight mark over here so here also we'll be making a stitch so this will be our inside pocket here we'll be making a stitch and also on the three sides so we're just going to pin this and three sides will be making a stitch So now we have finished the front fabric and we are going to place the lining on this. So right sides will be together. This is the front part. So on the front part of the lining there will be no pockets. We are just going to clip this and make a straight stitch over here. Now for the back part our fabric is ready. The lining will be having the pocket. So this is the pocket that we just prepared right side will be facing down so right sides together again we are just going to clip this and we are going to make a straight stitch over here so we will be doing a straight stitch for both of them so our straight stitch is done now we will just turn it over We'll keep it like this right side is facing up we are going to take the other part right side will be facing down so right sides will be together and we're going to make a stitch all around first we will be aligning the stitch marks over here this is the side stitch marks that will align and then we'll align all the edges and start clipping all around so we're going to align this also this is the stitch mark over here where the lining and the main fabric have been stitched so we'll have to align that and then all the edges and clip all around so here we'll be making a stitch now for the lining also we'll align the base we need to leave an opening over here so this is the opening that we'll be leaving and we'll stitch all around all around and this is the opening now we need to box the corners this is again optional so from the opening we are just going to put our hand inside and we are going to flatten the seams so we have put the hand inside which is separating the fabrics so that we get it flat once we get it flat we are just going to align the side seam and the base seam and flatten them so we have flattened the seams and they are aligned the stitch marks are aligned I'm just going to clip this now here we'll be making a boxing of three inches so one and a half one and a half on either side this is our center mark we'll align it on either side it will be one and a half inches and one and a half so total of three inches we're going to make a boxing we'll do the same for the other side as well as the lining fabrics on both corners so we have clipped and made a marking this is the marking so here we will be stitching main fabric as well as lining fabrics we have finished 
stitching the boxing we are just going to cut the fabric so we have cut the extra fabric now this is our main fabric base this is our lining base this step is completely optional we are just going to take the boxed corners that is the same side of the main fabric and the lining fabric and attach them like this we are just going to clip this this is only so that when we put our hand inside and take it out the lining fabric will not come out so this is our main fabric boxing the same side lining fabric boxing we are going to put them together just put the center inside and we are going to put them boxing together and clip them we need to make a stitch on this so the lining fabric will be held inside it won't keep coming out so here we are going to make a stitch so the bases are together of the main fabric and the lining fabric this is how it will be this is the opening now here we are going to make a simple straight stitch on both the sides so we have finished stitching this is how it will be now from this opening we are just going to turn the whole bag right side out bag is turned right side out now we need to stitch all around before that we'll just stitch the lining which we have kept left open so here it will be a simple straight stitch that we'll have to do the simple straight stitch that we'll have to do will be machine stitching so here it's a simple straight stitch but before we do this we are just going to take this corner that is where the lining and the main fabric meet and we are just going to open the seams like this and flatten of the lining fabric as well as the main fabric we are just going to flatten the seams properly and then push them back so the edges will be very neat and flat this is how the edges will be it will be neat and flat so we have done this for the other side also and this has to be done before stitching the opening of the lining fabric now we'll just stitch this opening so our stitching is done now we need to make a top stitch all around so before that we'll just turn this back to the right side we'll cut off any extra threads and we'll turn the back to the right side so once we turn it to the right side we put our hand inside and neatly push the box corners out the corners have to be neatly pushed out like this both the corners uh, both the sides and now we'll hand press the lining fabric and the main fabric like this and we are going to clip it all around now we'll have to stitch all around remember to put while stitching remember to put the strap on the upper side and stitch all around this is how our bag will be looking it's completely done these are the straps and this is the front pocket we have got two pockets inside also it's completely lined it's simple to make please to try this thanks for watching bye